So, what's up, guys? So, for those of you that get cable or have, like, DirecTV, Dish Network, those sorts of things, um, you might, there might be a channel that you get called the FYI Network, which is, um, basically got a bunch of shows on there, you know, usually about flipping houses, but they have things like Married at First Sight, Bride and Prejudice, um, um, shows like that. The particular show that I'm going to be talking about is Bride and Prejudice, and basically this is a show in which essentially people are, two couples usually of, you know, different backgrounds, um, are getting married, and these can be people of inner faith, people of inner race, people of, you know, you know people that come from, you know, really different backgrounds. Um, in this case, particular episode that I was watching, and I don't know what other episodes are going to be, I'm going to just prefer uh, the pilot episode. It was, they talked about three different couples, and one of them was a gay couple, and obviously one of the parents um, doesn't approve of it, and obviously goes upon that whole thing of, you will be judged for this wedding. Now, I'm not going to go very deep into this, because I've already spoken about bigots and other people like this who basically don't really approve of gay marriage, and frankly, those people can go fuck off. Because, frankly, the fact that you hate, you know, that you're saying to your own children that you're going to be judged for getting married and having happiness, even if that, it's like, regardless of who they marry, it's like, who cares if it's with somebody of the same sex? If they found happiness and love, let them be happy and let them have that, that connection that they found. Life is too fucking short to, you know, have to, you know, dink around, okay? So, it's kind of one of those things of let your kids be happy. And, frankly, and I'm going to get to that with these other couples as well. But, this particular one just really pissed me off in general. And that was uh, because, you know, this you know, woman who's in her 40s or 50s, whatever, and literally, and, you know, so blinded by her own, you know, sky daddy beliefs, thinks that her sky daddy will not approve of the wedding between, you know, uh, between her son and his partner. So, I think that's really kind of a narrow-minded, bigoted view that, Frankly, that thankful that frankly, this country has largely given up. Um, you know, you wouldn't think that if you looked at the news today, but frankly, the the numbers are in that nearly sixty percent of the American people either view gay marriage, you know, favorably or don't simply care either either way. So. You know, I'm sorry, bigots, but your views are narrow-minded and outdated and falling behind to history, so get over it. Secondly, this whole, the thing that really, really, really irritated me was this whole thing between um, this guy, one dude who's Caucasian, and this other gal who is uh, African-American. And their families disapprove, and I'm not talking the white man's family. I'm not talking about the, the typical white-natured racism of, you know, interrace, which I think is ridiculous considering that people have been getting into interracial marriages for, what, the last 100 and some odd years? You know, and it's been more acceptable within the last, you know, 50 years. So, to basically... The fact that I came across, I mean, this is news to me, especially, I mean, I know that there's still that sort of issue out there because, you know, I'm not completely ignorant, but coming from a person that lives in California, that's big news to me, and to see, and of course, this doesn't surprise me coming from the, this couple, I believe, was in, um, 
uh, is in Houston, Texas. So, you know, way down there in the south, I would, I would completely expect this. But coming from someone who's from California, this is huge news to me because I'm like, you know, because it's like the idea of, of inter-race uh, marriage and stuff like that isn't really a big deal to us. You know why? Because most people out here have dated people of interrace, have made, uh, have gotten married in 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 interracial marriage, have made in a beautiful, have made beautiful interracial children, and the idea that someone would not approve of it is a con is almost an alien concept. It's a completely outdated alien concept for you know, people of a state that are um, <laughs> a little bit more advanced, I guess, as far as things go. Um, not to sound arrogant or conceited, but let's be honest, uh, Californians kind of are a bit more advanced when it comes down to, you know, everything. Maybe because we have a better education, even though our education system actually does suck. Um, um, but it's the whole fact that that it wasn't just the white family. It wasn't just the 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 male. Uh, wasn't just the groom's uh, father that had a problem with it because the groom's father is an old white bastard from way back when, and has an issue with you know African Americans. It was also the bride's family, particularly the bride's mother. And I've acknowledged the idea that I acknowledge the idea that that it's not just white people that can be racist it can be other people of other races too particularly the fact that this woman said you know said that she doesn't like the her daughter's choice in in basically a fiance because he's white and quote unquote be with your own which is kind of the same whole mentality that white people used to have way back when. And the, again, the whole idea of be with your own is kind of a narrow-minded, bigoted view. And the fact, and quite frankly, yes, it's racist. You know, the fact that you actually don't, that you don't like your, that your future son-in-law simply because he's of another race like yes I understand the historical concept if that's you know why you have this deep-seated hatred I understand the whole issue and stuff like that but there doesn't really seem to be but to me the whole idea of an interracial couple is not a foreign concept to me and I have no problem with it my family has no problem with it, mainly because my family is has been in California for three generations, four technically if you count my great grandmother who came to this state, but you know it was it, it's not a foreign concept to me. I've you know for most people that live in my state we don't really have this concept. Of, of inner race being, uh, being an issue. In fact, many generations of Californians that have lived here don't have an issue with it. So I don't really see why others have a big issue with it. You know, it, it, it's... The last one was basically an issue between uh, this father whose son was uh, marrying a non-Jewish girl. And now I can get into a whole big thing about Zionism and you know the whole idea of Jewish uh, of Jewish people and having this superiority complex that they're somehow the, the chosen people and stuff like that. And I could also make comparisons to Nazism, especially considering that this guy that the father talks a lot like Benjamin Netanyahu, but. <laughs> It's the whole fact that the, the father has a problem with it, saying, well, Jewish people, Jewish children, you know, grow up and they marry other Jewish people. And that's completely tar retarded. Yes, particularly I understand in the Jewish culture, they prefer that, that, that Jews marry Jews. 
but we live in a globalized society and we live in a progressive in a in a relatively progressive society where we have people of different races and if you find love in a different ra or not different in different faiths and you find love with somebody of a different faith who cares and that's ultimately what I'm trying to get at with this video whether it's race whether it's um, whether it's uh, sexual identity or, or sexual orientation or it's it's interfaith no matter what the case is, who gives a flying rat's ass? It's 2016, get over your prejudice. Okay, get over your biases. You know, life's too short to, to hold hatred for somebody. We don't get out of this life alive. It's, you know, it's one of those things. You have to put aside that bigotry and those prejudices and these narrow-minded views, okay? If you find love with somebody of, of interrace, have interracial kids, love that person, okay? If you find love with somebody of the same sex, love that person. If you find love in, in, with someone of a different, of a, another religion, or even a non-religion, just love them. And for those of that still have a problem with it, again you don't really have much of a leg to stand on. There's not any reason for holding these prejudices. I understand cultural differences, I understand everything else. And maybe, of course, in this video I just sound like a, very, like a naive Californian who didn't grow up in that culture. And yes, you'd be right. But at the same time, I have a lot of, you know, I, I'm willing to debate this actual issue. So if you want to feel free to debate me, if you have an opposition to anything I've said about about this, just hit me up in the comments. We can have a discussion about that. Better yet, you can also hit me up on Twitter. You can hit me up on my NorCal Corner Facebook or my actual Facebook. And if you'd like, we could also Skype or Google Plus because I have no problem doing either or. So... It's one of those things where, again, if you find, so it, no matter what your race, no matter what your sexual identity or orientation, no matter what your, your faith, if you found, if you found love, good for you, because life's too hard to dink around. It's, it, you know, love is very hard to find, and, you know, it, it's, it, it, life is just too short, folks, and it's too short to, to hold biases and hatreds. It, it really is. It, it's too hard. It's too, life's too hard, and it's too short to have prejudice. And we need to learn to move forward as a society uh, beyond those narrow-minded viewpoints. So, you know... So if you're a Jew wanting to marry a Christian or a Jew wanting to marry an atheist or a Jew wanting to marry a Muslim, go ahead. If you're a black girl wanting to marry a white guy or a white dude wanting to marry an Asian girl or, you know, you're Mexican and, and you're, or you're a couple that's Mexican and, uh, and white, whatever the case, you know, go ahead. You know, you, find, you found love. What's the problem with it? And if you're gay, lesbian, trans, pans, inter, you know, intersex, asexual, whatever the case, if you found love, good, because life is too short. So again, anybody who wants to, who wants to favor that, give me a like, subscribe, comment, whatever the case, you can hit me up uh, in the comments and all that good shit below, and anything else you can find in the description. I'm NorCal Nick, leader of the revolutionist movement, and this has been NorCal Corner. Peace!